With the spread of the Omicron variant sending COVID-19 cases soaring across the country, cases for children are also on the rise. Last week, nearly 170,000 children mm. tested positive for the virus, and that's an increase of about 28% in the last two weeks since the start of the pandemic. Over 7 million children have tested positive for COVID-19 in this country. So let's bring in now the president of the American Academy of Pediatrics, Dr. Lee Savio Beers. Uh, good to have you back here on the program. Look, it, it's concerning to see the numbers uh, go up in this country, and certainly, of course, the numbers are related to children. What concerns you now most going into the holidays and family gatherings um, when we see these numbers and we see what Omicron is doing right now? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I think it is concerning to see these rates increasing. And I, I think one of the most important things for us to remember is that with the holidays coming, families are going to be gathering. They're going to be gathering in multi-generational groups with, with our older family members who may be more vulnerable to severe illness as well, well as our, our littlest ones who are not yet eligible for vaccination. And so I think we just have to be, be, be re, reinvigorate all those things that we know work, the tools that we know we have to be really cautious to make sure that, that we're keeping each other safe. And, and you make such a good point because as our families all gather for those families who have children under the age of five who cannot be vaccinated, what extra precautions are you recommending for those gathering in those groups? Yeah, I think this is, this is, again, where we go back to our basics, right? We go back to the things that we know work to help control the spread of the virus. And so um, first and foremost, if you are eligible to be vaccinated, please, this is, if you haven't already been, this is the time if you're eligible for a booster um, that, that absolutely increases your protection against the virus. So that's the, a very important piece. And we do have vaccines available for kids five and up at this point. And we're, the number is around 21 million children that have been vaccinated, but uh, that's about 40% of the population of children eligible. So what is your perspective on that 40%? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think it's a little different if you break down the vaccination rates in our adolescents and the children ages 12 and up for whom there was a vaccine approved earlier and the vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. Um, over 50 percent of our adolescents are vaccinated now. We'd love we'd really love to see more, especially now with the, the increased spread of, of the coronavirus and the, and the great transmissibility of it. Um, but but every week we see more and more kids getting vaccinated and every week we continue to, to see that the vaccine is safe and effective. And I think it's undeniable that booster shots are your best protection now if you're eligible one, but that's if you're eligible. I have a 15 year old who has friends who are 16. She's desperate to get her booster. She can't yet. It's not been authorized. Do you anticipate that booster shots for younger children will eventually be something we recommend? Yeah, it's a great question, and, and I, I share that I have a 16-year-old. She's gotten her booster, and she's glad, but, but also, I mean, she, she sees that as protection for herself, but also protection for her friends who are younger, who aren't yet eligible, um, for her brother who's younger, who's not yet eligible for the booster shot. And I think we have to follow the data, of course, um, and, and part of how we know a, a booster is needed is by, by watching the, the levels of immunity over time, and so it, it does take time, I think. It's pretty reasonable to expect that we, we will recommend a booster. I think this is something that's pretty typical, actually, for most vaccines. Most vaccines have a primary series and then a booster. And, and so I don't see any reason why we would expect to see anything different with, with the COVID vaccine. Hey, ma'am, I want to ask you, how are our kids doing? Um, I mean, right, we, we got them back in school. Uh, they're wearing the mask, but then some schools and classes are having to close and some schools are, are even shutting down because of outbreaks again. But the, the mental health and the emotional impact on kids, uh, w what are you seeing and what do you think this is doing to our kids? To, you know, we thought we were coming out of something and you're telling us we got to go back into where we were. Well, I think first and most importantly, it's hard on all of us. You know, this is, it's been a long, almost two years, and everyone is tired and everyone is frustrated. And, and that, that's all the more reason for us to be coming together, to work together, to, to really try to, to beat this thing. And I, I think our kids are struggling. They, they were actually struggling even before the pandemic began. President of the American Academy of Pediatrics, Dr. Lee Savio Beers, thank you again for being on the program and happy holidays. Thank you, you too. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.